Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. Can you believe it, guys? Christmas! It's Christmas! Oh my god, and that also means I am back home. And that also means that we are not in our usual closet. We're in my mom's closet. Does she know I'm recording in her closet? No, but she'll find out after with this video. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Also, check it out. We got a new microphone. Um, the truth is, I've had this microphone for a while. It's just, I've been using the other one since the weed sock fits on it nicely. But this one's very crisp. Like, I could do some ASMR videos, but I'm not going to do that because that sounds terrible. <laughs> Anyways, it is that time of the year or the season, as in the changing of the season. Because the fall anime have officially ended and they were all very solid. I mean, well, for the most part, everything is over next week. But it's whatever because Mal has already updated to their 2024 winter lineup. Can you, you believe, believe it, guys? guys? So, without further ado, here are some of the stuff that I'm excited for. A lot of animes are coming out that seems to be hype. Um, oh shit, my cat. Oh fuck. By the way, this closet is so much smaller than what I'm used to. So, like, I'm actually like feeling claustrophobic right now anyways to start it off there's a lot of seasons two coming out which will be cool or not season two but more like just continuations like for example we got high school of the elites um i haven't even seen it so i don't even care we got Mashal season two this looks hype freaking great season one was phenomenal we have jakukara tomozaki kun like if no one remembers this i don't blame you because like this was like way back when i don't know 2020 and that was three years ago so i was like fuck i can't believe this is getting a season two but i'm hella excited because like the manga just like stopped because no one was reading it so they were just like all right light novel it is only we have boku no kokoro wa yabai yatsu um season two this is i mean no one's watching this and plus i don't know why i'm reading the manga still like i it's like it died off it's really slowing down now and it's just kind of like why is this continuing and guess what? We have Blue Exorcist coming back after nine years. Can, Can you believe, believe it, guys? guys? That's fucking insane. Do I remember any of it? No. So I'm like, fuck, I got to binge watch all of Blue Exorcist before, what, like January 4th? So I'm like, shit, that's a lot of, that's a lot of anime to watch, but I could easily do that. It's just a matter of if I'm willing to do it or not. But no, if I remember, like, Blue Exorcist was awesome. The trailer looks awesome. Everyone is back. Freaking dope. He's blue and an exorcist. Like, what? That's awesome. <laughs> but without a further ado, with the new lineup, number one I want to talk about, solo leveling. This one is the big one that everyone's been excited for. I've been excited for it because, what was it? Like, by the time I was going to read it, the manhwa, because my roommate was just all like, oh, you got to read this. This is like the number one manhwa. Everyone loves this shit. Look at the art. Like, this shit's hype as fuck, right? And then I was like, all right, all right, man. Like, I'll watch this or read it. But then, like, by the time uh, the trailer was announced for, for the anime. So I was like, oh, I'll just wait for the anime then. But then I learned a lot of, like, first off, really sad news was that the artist passed away. So it was like, oh shit. So it's like, what happened to the manhwa? And I'm not even sure about that information. Like, I gotta look this up eventually. But basically, that happened. And then apparently, like, within the story, it's like how a Japanese character, or no, not Korean main character, right? Is like dealing with the terrible, like, imbalance of like racism from like Japanese people. But the whole thing is like the anime is being produced in Japan. So they're like, nah, the fuck you mean Japanese people are bullying Koreans? It's the Koreans bullying a Japanese guy. So they like change that aspect. And a lot of people were pissed off about that. But I mean, I don't have an opinion on it because I haven't read the source material. But like hearing it from the outside perspective, I'm kind of like iffy about it. So definitely like after or during uh, watching this anime, I'm going to like go to the manhwa and read it. So I do a like quick comparison, but like definitely like this looks awesome. I'm excited, even if it is like slightly changed up, 
I don't know how much they're going to change it, but still. But the thing is, I think it's A1 Picture that's doing it. I'm going to double check that real quick. Yeah, it's A1 Pictures. Um, So they have a bad rep <laughs> because of how like they were one of the worst. If anyone remembers the whole fucking animator boycotts and like how just like a bunch of animation studios were treating people like shit. Well, MAP was still treating people like shit. Well, like A1 Picture was the worst and... Uh, you could see that in like past animes so hopefully they've gotten better i'm sure they have because if i remember they lost their entire employment so like they actually had to get their shit fixed otherwise their company would have gone bankrupt but enough of that on to the next one. Second on the list oh by the way uh we don't have the whiteboard so like there is a whiteboard with the power of editing what happened Huh? Anyways, with the power ready, we have a whiteboard here. So number two on this list is Dungeon Meshi. It's just a guy going to dungeons, killing creatures, eating them. Fucking fire. Sounds fire. I love cooking and I love eating. And then it's like, hey, what would happen if you eat this like creature thing? Let's find out. I'm so fucking excited. I don't care. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Third on the list is called Yubisaki no. Wait, what? Third on the list is called Yubisaki to Renren, -ren, or the, what is it called? A Sign of Affection. That's the English title. Basically, from what I've read or saw is that this is silent voice, but in anime form. And like, more adult-like, because in silent voice, they're high schoolers. This one, they seem to be like, uh, social adults and uh yeah more romance fuck yeah it's winter baby so like definitely just like a whatever show but like i'm sure it's gonna be hype and very dramatic and i love that shit so yeah it'll be so fun to watch can't wait fourth we have mojo to yaju all right so i just found this one like a couple days ago without like, scrolling through mal's new list and this looks awesome i think it is a uh, what is this i don't remember so it is based off of manga who is this animation studio what was I talking about? Anyways, this anime right here looks entertaining. I mean, like, the trailer, you have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. You just see a girl who looks spunk as fuck, and it seems like a badass. I love badass girls. I mean, fucking, look at Revy. Fuck yeah. All of Black Lagoon. Fuck yeah. So, that'll be fun. And then it seems like a vampire creature or something is gonna come out. But, hey, that's dope. Vampires. Fuck yeah. Like... Yeah, I lost count what number we're on on this list, but the next one I want to talk about, this one is going to be hype as fuck, and I don't even want to consider it the trash of the season yet, but it may be, but in a great way. It's called Dosanko no Geru, or Hokkaido Girls are so fucking cute. This one is peak. This is a great fucking manga, all right? I've been reading this shit since day one. Which is crazy to think about because that it's been going on for what like i want to say four years or so because i think i found it during like end of covid so that would be oh i guess three years now but jesus christ this is awesome i'm so happy this anime got announced because first off let me just say tits galore all right like goddamn like you just see how like the artist or author throughout the manga as it goes on just like changes the size of the tits and i'm like what the fuck is going on right and sometimes it gets really fucking like disproportionate and you're just like damn she definitely has some back problems but the girls are fucking adorable and it's actually dope because every beginning of chapter there's like a little like fun fact about hokkaido and i'm like oh this is cool like did you know that yada 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 and i'm like oh i didn't know that that's cool though. Do I remember the information? Fuck no. But it's still cool to like read it. But basically like this is about a guy named Shiki who moves to Hokkaido from Tokyo and then meets this girl named Fuyuki. And she is a gyaru. And that's basically it. And then so on and so forth. She introduces him to the wonders of Hokkaido and is just like, yo, this is where I live. This is where I grew up. There's a bunch of snow, more snow. Oh, and I mentioned that there's snow. And yeah, but then like sometimes it's dope because like as some later arcs go, like there are just like full double page spreads of colored art from the author. And you're just like, what the fuck? This was dope as shit. And so like, it's great seeing the author's progress in drawing and like story writing. 
And like now the fact that he's getting an anime, I'm just so happy for him. Like great, great mangaka. And yeah, Sayori is the best. Fuck you. All right. We'll 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 like we'll you'll see what I mean. Little side note, I don't give a fuck about this anime, but it's great to see that the cute girls doing fucking random shit is still a thing. Look at this. Pontomichi. You want to learn what Mahjong is? Uh, you want to know how to play it? Why don't you learn how to play it with a bunch of anime girls? Yeah, that's right. You see this girl? She she plays Mahjong. Yeah. Wow. Uh, why is there like these stereotypical character types for anime about Mahjong? I don't know, but cute girls doing things. Yay. <laughs> Last on the list. This one is the most important one because this one is fucking peak it is called mato sehe no slave or the change soldier this right here is gonna be anime of the season or i want to say because watching the trailer i saw a lot of cgi especially for the main character right and when he's in his like beast form so basically i'm gonna give a quick synopsis of what this anime is there's this uh, society where girls, when they eat a f special fruit, they gain a special power. So basically a whole balance of female to male ratio is just fucking slumped and females are now at the top of the hierarchy because they have fucking superpowers. And then men are just considered pieces of shit. So feminism is off the rooftop, right? So basically we have the Mato, say, like, or the Mato Corp, whatever the fuck they're called, right? And they are protecting Earth from the different realm of a bunch of creatures that are trying to like take over the world or something, right? Dope as shit. And then basically what happens, our main character Yuki accidentally like teleports to this world and then meets, what's her name? The seventh division captain, Kyoka. And then she is just has her ability, which basically turns anybody who is willing to, or I don't even know if it's willing. Just like, she could turn anyone into her slave. <laughs> yep, that is her ability. And then what happens is Yuki is just like, I want to be a superhero. I don't be dope as shit. Right? So then he ends up becoming her slave to become a beast. And then he's just like fucking killing everybody or all the bad guys. And it's like dope. But then we learn <laughs> that with her power, the issue is every time she transforms someone, to her slave she has to give some sort of reward and oh boy <laughs> oh boy the rewards are getting a little spicy right here and like the trailer doesn't even show shit and i swear to god there's gonna be a censored and uncensored version because there has to be because first off fucking look at this shit all right i'm gonna do some quick fucking snapshots of some of the panels Oh my fuck. So that'll be dope as shit. And then fucking Japan. Like, come on. They're horny ass toads. Anyways, uh, this anime is coming. My concern is, though, that a lot of the fights are hype as fuck in the manga. So the whole idea is, like, if you know a hype ass fight is happening, you know that a hype ass reward is going to come after, right? That's so going to be great. But what I'm hoping is that this animation studio did not just put all their fucking work and effort into the horny stuff and also put some effort into the fights because the fights are dope. But looking at the trailer, there's a lot of CGI, especially for when Yuki turns into his slave form. And it's just like, God damn it, that sucks. So hopefully it actually looks good. I mean, there's no way it's going to be like Studio Orange level good, but that's all I could hope for. And maybe it's only like a few scenes that's actually CGI. But we can only wait and find out together. But basically, this is the anime list of next season. My god, I am sweating right now because this closet is so hot and condensed. But basically, I'm... Yeah, um, fucking Tenka is the goat baddie. Anyways, that's been Yuji. Thanks for watching.